to my channel so today i have a super fun haul for you guys i have got a load of new makeup new skincare for you guys and also i'm partnering up with beauty Bay in this video to bring you guys a huge giveaway filled with festival makeup so if you guys want to know a bit more about that please keep watching okay guys so i already filmed this whole makeup look already so if you guys want to know how to create this cut crease i had like a bright red lip on earlier make sure you keep yourself subscribed to my channel if you haven't yet click the little button enough shameless plugging i have got myself a huge ass mega mega box so if you guys not follow me on snapchat that's where i update you guys on my life i go on there daily but i am a new ambassador for beauty bay so really really excited about that i've always loved beauty bay for the longest time they have awesome brands like morphe jeffree star anastasia beverly hills they've got loads of exclusive brands like velour lashes they've got unicorn cosmetics they've also got sugar pill on there that you can't get anywhere else so if you're in the uk and you're trying to find these hard as makeup brands get your hands on check out beauty bay i'm gonna leave all the links to all the products that I show down below in this video as well so i went on the beauty bay website and i picked out a load of stuff that i've been dying to try and i'll give you a little sneak peek oh, oh, oh it's just falling out as we speak okay guys so i'm gonna show you one of the first products i picked up and it's this mirror and it's actually from Jeffree Star. I actually didn't know he done mirrors, but it come in loads of different colours. And I picked the blue one out. It comes in, I think, red, pink. It comes in loads of different colours. But I really love this blue shade. If you guys don't know, blue is one of my favourite colours to wear. Especially this kind of like tealy kind of green. I love looks like this. So, yeah, I thought the mirror was so cute. And it's in the shape of a little star. And the mirror quality is really nice. It's really crisp and sharp. I'm going to add that to my little mirror collection. And then next up is a foundation. I actually use this foundation today and the color matches this is one of my favorite foundations of all time it's the jure essential high coverage cream foundation this is in a new shade called honey beige so before i used to use bronze but sometimes i felt like it was a bit too dark for me like when i went on sunlight sometimes it looked a bit too dark if i wasn't spray tanned so i ordered the shade latte the shade latte was a bit too light for all over my face i kind of looked a bit ghostly like i was like damn i need to wear bronzer with that like heavy bronzer you know they brought out a couple new shades and it is quite hard finding your shades online so i had to like search for swatches and stuff like that so i found the shade honey beige the description is like a warm but neutral undertone which is what i want i want something that has a bit more of like a neutral olive kind of shade which is what was described as honey beige and i'll put it all back in the box for you guys even though i really feel a little instagram video with it and i'm wearing it today and the color match i think is really really nice that's like, got a really nice olive undertone to it it's not too too yellow based so this foundation is really really small it's only got 20 ml in it but it's super matte so if you've got oily ass skin like me but you want a hell of a lot of coverage this is so nice it goes on so smoothly amazing with a beauty blender next up i picked up some eyelashes from unicorn cosmetics they have the most amazing eyelashes ever they also do silk lashes mink lashes and we're just going to forget that that email ringtone just went off okay so i picked up four different pairs look how cool the packaging is if this isn't cool i don't know what is this is so freaking cute so this is exclusive to beauty bay and their lashes are so fluffy like so 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 fluffy it is insane so i picked up the style pixie wisp cherry top luna fleur and also bambi i think bambi is one of my favorite styles actually i don't know what's my favorite style oh my god i like them all this is bambi right here and i love the way it goes from like thinner and then on the outer corner it goes super nice and thick and full so whenever you're doing kind of like a cat eye wing liner if you put on lash like this it'll really elongate your eyes and make it really nice and lifted on the corners and then also if you're looking for something a bit more subtle but you still want it to be nice and fluffy luna fleur is super cute i think this would be amazing with just like no eye liner yeah see how fluffy that is and it's not too dense as well so if you're wearing like a look that you just want like a nice simple kind of eye makeup but you want your lashes to kind of stand out i think luna flow would be super cute and also with the unicorn lashes i've had them many times before and they last for ages as well so you can reuse them up to like 20 times if just make sure you take care of them and keep them back in the box and stuff i keep using lily lashes and i use them all the time i feel like i need to experiment with more eyelash brands but it's really hard to find nice fluffy eyelashes next up 
up, I also picked up a little set of brushes. So I have a hella load of brushes, guys. Let me just show you just one box that I have. So this box is just for eye makeup. And these are the styles that I use quite often. I have a whole other box up there that I never even touch. I don't know why I always feel like I need new eyeshadow brushes. So I was on the Beauty Bay website and they've got everything kind of like put into all those stuff, which I really like because I try to find a, a set, but just for eyes. And I came across this brand here called Bedellium Tools. I remember when I used to work at IMAX before, they used to have a massive stand of Bedellium Tools and their brushes used to be yellow, I think. It comes with a little case like this. So really good if you're a working makeup artist. And then it also comes with 12 eyeshadow brushes. I love the fact it's got like a yellow ferrule on it because when I put it into my box, sometimes because most of them are all black, it kind of gets lost, you know, whereas these are yellow. I'm like, oh, I need to remember to use that one. So the main brush that I wanted to try was this one right here. This is the Bedellium 785 brush. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted. A lot of brands, they're kind of bringing out more synthetic brushes, but I'm after more natural hair because I feel, oh yeah, I feel it'll fluff out all my eyeshadow and blend it really nicely. If you guys know any good brushes, comment down below, like good eyeshadow brushes. Like this is super, super cute. Yeah, so it's got loads of different brushes. It's got this brush, which looks insane. Oh my God. So recently I have been really into drawing in little hairs at the front. So this would be amazing for that. This is the 760. Look how crisp that is god damn it's so crisp that'd be so good for drawing in little hairs and also for eyeliner so yeah i love eye sets like this because every single brush you'll probably use for something you know okay next up, i have to show you guys this um i don't know if i featured this on my youtube page before but i know i've done an instagram video on it so this is the single pass straighteners from a brand called t3 and i have the hair curl of this and it's so good it's so hot and it curls my hair so nicely as well it heats up super quick and i actually got the straighteners of this and then one night Graham was so tired and he got out of the bed he stepped on my straighteners and they literally cracked and I honestly wanted to wring his neck. Graham is my boyfriend by the way if you guys haven't seen my YouTube videos with him but I was so angry because these are one of my favourite hair straighteners because literally it says single pass because you just have to pass it through your hair once and it is so straight. Like I've got GHDs but I find my GHDs they're not that hot. I don't know this one's so much hotter and I just go shoop and it's super straight already and I also like this for like curling your hair like flicking your hair as well as I've got a good shape to it. Um, I'm excited to have this back in my life. You can also pick up the hair curlers as well. I've got the three barrel hair curler that you kind of ch interchange them and they're so good. So this is what you get inside. You get two clips and these clips are so good as well. They're so like tight on your hair. And then the straighteners look like this. I love the rose gold and also the white the way to find really good straighteners is basically you need to look at it if there's like a gap in here that basically means that it won't straighten your hair that well and also it's got like a button here so super slick and then it goes up in settings so if you want it to go even hotter you can hold it down and then it boosts the settings up to make it even hotter but i just love it like it's just so nice and slim the ghd's ones are so chunky like this is just thick enough you know where it doesn't feel like it's gonna break but it also feels really nice and like you know just that wave stuff out been loving that and it heats up so quickly as well i'm so excited to have this back in my freaking life and i'm going to keep it in the box so that graduate step his fat big foot on it next up i picked up this eyeshadow palette and this is from a brand called juvia's place so i feel like juvia's place got on the mats because of nikki tutorials i have been wanting to get my hands on the juvia's place palettes but i had no idea that they're sold on beauty bay so they've got the entire line on there and inside the palette this one is called the zulu love this imagery I love colours like this. Like when I would get bikinis, I always look for this like Aztec kind of like shades with all the blue, the pink and everything because it makes your tan pop even more. And then inside the palette you have... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Also, I've been saying on Snapchat that I've been trying to experiment more and wear more colour because I actually used to wear makeup like this like every single day of my life. And then I kind of just got into like more browns and neutrals. And then like so many guys are telling me to like switch it up. And I'm like, right, Tweet, I need to like change things up. You know, I hate being a boring ass bitch. So I feel like when I have shades like this in my collection, it kind of inspires me to go a bit bolder. I love the fact that it comes with this really nice warm brown. Also, yellow is so hard to get a hold of a good yellow. And then and also purple in here this green shade is calling my name that looks electrifying so cute and then oh this color as well oh my god if this isn't a bit of me i don't know what is do you guys want to see an eyeshadow tutorial of this oh my god i could just imagine how tropical the vibes would be cute i need to try more juvia's place eyeshadow palettes guys okay is it just 
just me, but I literally like to multi-use wipes. So look how old and crusty this wipe is. I still keep hold of it just in case I need to use the wipe, you know. I don't want to be wasting my wipes. Also, have you guys heard that they're going to ban makeup wipes? And they're also going to ban straws? And there's also a thing called sugar tax now? Like, what the fuck? They're just trying to get all our money, girl. Let's do some skincare next. Woo! I love skincare so much. I love facials. I love masks. So I think before in the haul, I showed you guys that I got this kind of like set from Mary Badescu. And it's like their top best-selling product. So I got the buffering lotion, the drying cream, and also the drying lotion as well. And they literally are so good for breakouts. I've been using it on this spot here. Can you guys see this spot? It was like a mega three-in-one spot. And I used the buffering lotion and the drying cream and it worked like a charm. A lot of my followers were telling me their other products are really good as well. So I picked up some masks from Mary Badescu. I really also like that on Beauty Bay, you can watch videos on it and that literally like drawed me in so there's like this girl she's in like a lab coat and stuff and she just talks about the products and how you use it and stuff like that so i was trying to find a product that is good for something like this like i just picked my spot i want it to kind of heal i know they said you're not meant to pick your spots but you know you gotta do what you gotta do you know so i found this product on the beauty bay website and it's called the healing and soothing mask and this is perfect for people with acne prone skin as well and it just kind of helps calm down your skin it heals your skin as well and and it's like a thick mask. I have to open it for you guys. Okay. It's kind of like greenish like this. It doesn't smell that bad as well. But it's made to basically promote healing. And I always do like micro needling. I do quite a lot of stuff on my skin that kind of like damages the top layer. So it helps regenerate your skin. That's what helps with acne scarring and stuff like that. So healing stuff is always a winner winner in my eyes. I also picked up another product called the Special Healing Powder. It's really good for like healing up spots. Everything to kind of dry them up basically. And it's sulfur based. My skin works so well with sulfur. That's why the Mario Budescu kind of lotion is really really good i think it has this hot sulfur in it it kind of dries out the spot but doesn't dry out your skin that's why i really like sulfur but anyways i also picked up two other products from mary Badescu, and this is the drying mask so this is for people that are really really oily like me sometimes i just want something to just pull everything out i heard that the drying mask is amazing it's got really really high reviews on the beauty bay website as well it contains clay like kaolin sulfur clamamine zinc oxide oh my god there's so many like good stuff in here to help dry out your pimples and everything like you can also leave this on your spot overnight so that's really cool i'm excited to try more from my Badescu. and then also one other thing that i was a bit curious about this is called the silver powder this actually got really really high reviews on the beauty Bay website and i was like how the hell do you use this product so basically apparently you dip in a damp sponge in here and you put this on wherever you get really oily so in your t-zone and it helps take out all the impurities so all the blackheads and stuff like like that it's really good if you use this before the drying mask and it helps it kind of like extract even more stuff so yeah really excited to try that if you guys have tried anything else from my Badescu that i need to try or have you, have you tried any of these stuff yet let me know down below i'm always after the good good the good good you know the good good I like the good good. Okay, my last but favourite thing probably in this haul is this Beauty Sleep Power Peel Mask by Alpha H. And this is something that I've been dying to get a hold of and it's always freaking sold out. But I managed to get my hands on it and this has 5% retinol in it. So I normally use a product from Sunday Rider called the Lunar Sleeping Oil. And that one has retinol in it as well. But sometimes I feel like I need to switch up because I don't want my skin to get used to it. But I still want to use retinol. So if you guys don't know what retinol is basically it's a product that you put on overnight and it's clinically proven to stop aging if you've got like fine lines and stuff like that using retinol and also sunscreen is the best way to stop you from getting fine lines and wrinkles and stuff so this is an overnight power peel which supercharges the skin while you sleep to ensure you wake up to a younger looking fresher and firmer complexion yeah it's got retinol in here, glycolic acid, hydronove P, targeting the visible signs of aging, helping you to keep the skin plump, renewed, and more energized. Oh, yeah. Normally, I was so shit at reading, guys, but that was actually quite good. Okay, so you apply this two evenings a week, so you can't use it all the time. So I always alternate my skincare so my skin doesn't get used to it. So you apply this onto clean, dry skin, working upper motion. I absolutely love the Alpha H Liquid Gold. This 
puppy here i have literally have used half of it already and this is a 50 ml but you can also buy like the 100 ml i also got this on beauty bay as well in a little set so this is so good at kind of cleaning up any dead dry skin and then putting this on probably together will be like the ultimate duo so i'm gonna use that tonight okay next up i picked up this set and this is from jeffree star and it says open here for nudes oh yeah don't you think this box just looks so cute and it looks like a pr package as well guys you can actually buy it like this this is the mecca of nudes haven't tried many liquid lipsticks from Jeffree Star. I have met him before as well and he seems super nice and I've heard amazing things about his liquid lipsticks as well. I've heard it's a really really nice formula and I am more of a nude gal. This also comes in a box with like more reds and the bright kind of colours but this is so cute. I actually travel quite a lot so I'm always after bringing smaller products but good colours with me because I like to bring a lot of liquid lipsticks and lipsticks with me unfortunately. So these are a good way to try out loads of different shades you get your bang for your buck as well um, i think mannequin and celebrity skin will probably be my favorite it's also got gemini in here which i am a gemini that is a cute name i had the shade leo in the full size version so i'm really excited to try this i think this would be so cute for instagram video and for traveling like such a cute present as well like, if you've got a birthday coming out you've got your gemini sisters this would be a cute present okay just saying also i did request for some full size products because i normally have to keep some products in another travel size bag with me and i don't change and take out products and stuff so all of those little small ones are gonna go away in my little travel size bag and then on my actual makeup table i like to keep separate products so that i always have it on hand so i picked up the color called mannequin birthday suit celebrity skin i'm nude and skin tight in the full size version skin tight looks like a cute shade oh yes this is like a really, really light shade. Really good for ombres, peachy, pinky. That looks cute. And also birthday suit looks like a really, really cute shade. Oh my God, this is like the perfect peachy, pinky nude. That's so cute. I might try it on now. Birthday suit, yes. I now got a lip gloss on, guys, so this can just go on top. It doesn't smell like much. I thought he would put like a fun smell in here, but I actually quite like the fact that it doesn't smell. Oh my god, that colour is so cute. Yes, I love finding new liquid lipsticks, guys. Even though I have so many new liquid lipsticks, but I swear every single one is a bit different. It has a bit more pink in there, a bit more peach in there. I'm a sucker, guys. I'm a sucker for a nude. Okay, so we're down to the last few bits, guys. One product that I saw Desi Perkins use, I think she uses on Snapchat or Insta Stories or something. And this is from Velour, and it's their Too Easy applicator and this looks like what i need because basically i actually have loads of these type of tweezers where you use them to put on your eyelashes but let me show you this one that really stood out to me and desi said she loves it if desi loves something then i love it too and the is exclusive to beauty bay as well they do amazing lashes i think they were like the first people to bring out like mink lashes this is what the tweezers look like oh snap I love the fact that these are not too long. They're really, really nice and precise. And the main reason why I got it is because of this comb here. So I actually have really, really fine eyelashes. And sometimes they point downwards. And I just want to comb them into my false lashes. And sometimes also when I apply mascara, it goes a bit too clumpy. And I want it to look more fluffy. So with this little comb thing, I can kind of comb through the lash and get through any clumps. Oh, it's working already. So good. So yeah, you can put on your lashes with this, really nice and easy, and then comb through them. And also my bottom lashes, they get like all crisscrossed as well. It makes it look like I've only got one eyelash. So this is literally perfect. I love the colour as well, it's so bougie. She bad, she bad, she bad. Okay. And then I've got some glitters here. So this is from a brand called Festival Face. And I've been dying to show you guys this. It's called Iridescent Flakes. Okay guys, let me show you. I'm scared of all the sneezes, it's gonna go everywhere. Oh, look at this, guys. It looks like little pixie dust. How cute is this gonna be? I don't know if you're able to actually use it on the eyes. I don't think it's probably recommended for that, but you know, your girl's a rebel. Look at that little flakes of dust, and it's got like pink bits in there. It's got some silver bits, purple bits, blue bits. Oh, I love glitter like this, especially on the inner corners. I love like a pop of freaking cuteness glitter i swear if i could be any makeup product i'll be a glitter like an aqua glitter if you could be a makeup product guys what would you be 
comment down below. And then last but not least, I picked up Sugar Peel Loose Eyeshadows. So the shades that I picked up was Magpie and a Salem. So I haven't tried much from Sugar Peel. I find it really hard to get hold of, but luckily like Beauty Bay is like a UK distributor and it allows us to get our hands on like these really hard products to get hold of. But look at that shade guys. This is Asylum. Oh my god, this shade is so nice. It has like a, a really nice like copper iridescence to it as well. So when you turn it into a light, it goes slightly orangey pink. Oh my god, this shade looks like a bit of me, guys. A bit of me. Ah, it's a dark navy with light glitter. Oh my god, I love makeup so much. Look at this. Look at that. I can just imagine this on the eyes, like a really dark, smoky eye. Why are my swatches so weak? But look how sparkly that is. Okay, guys, so it's time to talk all about the giveaway. I'm sure that's why you guys are here. You guys want to know all about how you guys can win the good good. So, the rules are going to be put down below in the description. All you need to do is follow me, my channel over here. Make sure you subscribe and also head over to the Beauty Bay YouTube channel and also subscribe over there and then also comment down below in this video. Let me know that you subscribed or what products that you really want to try from Beauty Bay and we are going to be giving away a huge bundle of festival makeup. So, if you guys want to win that, please please make sure you enter. It's so easy. You just need to subscribe to both our channel and comment down below. Unfortunately, this giveaway is only open up to the UK and Ireland so I'm so sorry if you're around the world don't worry I have so many more giveaways up for you guys so if you guys haven't yet please make sure you subscribe as well also make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x Tweely on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers please stick around please stick around keep watching that was shit oh shit my table's getting overflowed bitch Bye. Bye guys, go and say bye.